welcome back to another video so monday's video was up late uh i didn't get finished work till late and when i uploaded it i had problems with loading so that's why it went up so late so i always aim for six o'clock i am on late this week so it does make it a little bit harder but i'm filming this on tuesday i will get it edited and everything tonight and it will be up for tomorrow for six o'clock so this is a 2017 DAF CF85 Euro 6. We have a, pop, a couple of faults on this one. It's in for inspection, but it's got uh, drain air tanks, check for air leakage. We've had a lot of problems with this one. It's always been the same problem over and over again. It's got adaptive cruise control fault as well, which we'll look at. But I think someone's already had a, a quick look and, and records the SAC unit. So I'm going to plug it in and have a look. So we've got any faults for the sack unit and then we'll be going through how to replace the sack unit if it is that how to reset everything how to tell it it's had a new one and everything like that so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you're all keeping well and if you haven't subscribed already if you can think about subscribing even better i'll see you in a bit so we've done our scan and yeah it looks like it is a sack unit it looks like it's probably been reset a couple of times um but air drop mode level one level two that's on obviously red now, uh, five times. So that pressure, value under threshold, warning level, yellow colour, so that's obviously a lot that gets put on 126 times duty cycle. So I'm gonna put a sack unit on it. We've got one here, ready to put on. Uh, so I'm gonna do my inspection, then I'll go through doing all that, how to replace it, how to reset it, how to set it a new one and everything like that. So let's get cracking on and uh, get the inspection done then i'll come back to you and we'll do that video so before we uh take the air dryer off we're just going to go to parameters copy to gel test so any parameters that are in the air dryer from the old one will go into here so let it copy that So, just put a name in here. Uh, well, we'll just save it as, we'll save it as that. So that's that saved in there. So here is our uh, processing unit, APU, SAC unit, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, We've got socks, three mountain bolts in the pipes. So all I'm going to do is just always oh, just do it, just tip extra parts so we know where they go. They're probably pretty self expansion on where they go, but I'm going to um, mark them anyway because I just don't think it's certainly home. Um, there's one electrical plug and then three mountain points. So I'm going to crack on, start cracking the pipes off. I'll time that's most of this um, and then. Obviously, the computer side is the most important side on um, telling it's had a new one and everything like that. So just quick update, it's fucking noisy in here today. So if you look there, I've just put one mark there for number one, two marks on there for number two, three for there, and then four for there. You just mark it like that. And it's pretty self expansion where the pipes go, but you just never know. It's better just, better just to mark them off. So we're halfway through, two and a bit pipes left to do, and then we're ready to think about taking it off. Obviously we've got a, a big compressor pipe off as well. Actually changed it, marked it with tip X because the chalk's a shit idea. This doesn't, you can't really see it very well. So I marked them all with tip X so we don't get confused of what goes where. So one little pipe in the buck, top pipe there, 
couple pipes there. And then we've got to try and get it off, so yeah, definitely mark your pipes. Whatever geezer, yeah. Where this compressor pipe's bolted to the state of my face, bolted to the top um, of the bracket, fucking give you a little wobble because you've put torque bolts in it. Why? I'm mean, just put a normal bolt in it to make fucking life hard. I'll show you when I get out. It's just shit that like irritates me. Why? What have you got to do it? Anyway, enough moaning. I'll get it out and I'll fucking show you what I mean. There you go, look. Why? Why have you done that? Just put a normal fucking bolt on it. If that goes crusty, yeah, and rounds off, you're fucked. That'll be a little bitch to get out. After removing it, this bracket here goes at the top, which I've tried to struggle to get these bolts out here. So it's only held on with cable tie, so and cable tie it. And then oh, there's a new one. And um, that goes something like. Go something like that. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get everything lined up. The old markings from the old um, air dryer that I put the tipex, like for which number's which, transfer onto the new one so I know where they go. And I'll struggle for the next fucking six days to try and put the bastard back on. I mean, I probably took it a long way, but. I'd be lying if I said it were a twack because it's fucking really tight, so... I'm going to quickly mount them over and then I'll time that as much as I can, stop as much as I can, show you as much as I can, putting it back on. So, as you can see, that is a lot easier. Just these two bolts here. One, two bolts there. So maybe if I'd have known that. So I've not done one before, so I'm new. Um, yeah, all I need to do is literally uncount the tight here, so... Let's get this bolted up and we'll think about mounting it back up again. So we're, we're slowly getting there, as you can see, most of it's quite fair now. Like I said to you before, my face is really dirty in it. Like I said to you before, uh, I'll do saying these videos, I haven't done one of these before, this is all 
new. I probably took off bits I shouldn't have took off, but it's all about learning, isn't it? Like that's why I, I, I reply to a lot of people's comments, and when people have good ideas, I've tried these ideas. Um, you know, as I've commented on some videos that I've, you know, from what someone said, I've tried, and, and most of the time it works. So if you know a better way of doing these, then please let me know. Um, I know about the programming side, about the SAC unit, um, but not actually fitting the valve, so yeah, it's, it's fiddly, it's very, very fiddly, it's knowing what to take off, it's like anything in there, like, like when I did that manifold the other day, you can take stuff off, you don't need to, so it's all about learning and we learn every day, that's what it's all about, I think, so. I'm going to get these last few pipes on and um, get it all back, all secure. And then we'll put gel testing and do the uh, computer side of it. Right, that is it all plumbed in, bolted up, all secure. Everything needs to. The hardest bit was getting the compressor pipe. There's like little little clips, P clips that go in. It's bolted in. It's, it's a bastard. No, I'm not going to lie, it's shit. Um, but, if it's all secure, it was easier going back. I put all of these parts back in. A lot, lot easier. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, I've got to do a trailer control valve bracket like I did last time. I've got to do that, I'm not going to film that. And then we'll get it down. And then we'll program it and tell it everything it needs to do with the gel test and I'll show you every bit of that as well so I hope you're enjoying the video so far I'm not enjoying doing this job but I hope you're all keeping well how we're going to do into a sack unit obviously we saved the parameters earlier when we did it so we let that connect so we're going to go into parameters copy to ECU we put our expert code in. So there's our one that we had earlier. So we're going to be copying that on. It may take a while. I'll come back when it's done. So, so now we're gonna have to turn the ignition off for 10 seconds. Let it do that. Ignition back on. All done, copied.